Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, and today we're back with some more cash games on both Poker Stars Michigan and Party Poker Michigan, playing at 2-5 with a $500 buy-in. Cut off open, going to through that small blind pocket jacks. Get a call. Queen, deuce, deuce. Pretty dry board here. Going to bet out. Get a call. Uh, seven clubs on turn. Going to check. Goes half pot. I think a pretty clear call here. Nine on the river. Going to check. He checks back quickly, and we are good versus eights. Raise the low jack, ace 10 suited, small blind min 3 bats in position will be calling here. And if lock comes down, queen jack 8. So we have a gut shot and over card, backdoor diamonds. Win check 2, I think we just want to check this back. Uh, deuce of hearts on the turn. That's 25. Uh, so we're double gutted because we have any 9 any king. And once you check that flop, I could try and steal it on some rivers. So I'm going to actually call one here. And fortunately for us, we just hit the straight. Backdoor hearts do come in, but I uh, can't be too worried about that. Uh, when he goes for half pot, I think we do want to put in a raise. Poor value. Calls pretty quick, and our ace 10 is good. And we beat ace queen. Uh, hijack opens off of a shorter stack, pretty big here. He doesn't raise tons of hands in any place, so I'm just going to call the 10s on or in the big blinds. That said, get a pretty good flop for 10s. 9, 6, 5, 2 hearts. Goes for pot. Even his stack size, can we just check jam this here? I'm going to call. Get a, a good turn. Hey jams, I mean this kind of unfortunately feels like someone just blasting off in the overpair, but there's some bluffs you can have too, so I'm gonna call. He has kings, kind of an annoying spot. Low jack opens big off a really short stack, going to be three betting the ace king. This is gonna look extremely strong to everybody behind. But I don't think we want to get too fancy here. All right, here we go. Ace King versus Sevens. And a very good turn card for us, and we are going to win the flip. Raise the hijack, cut off three bet, small blind cold call. We'll put in the four bet here. Ace King. Three better folds over to the cold caller. He calls. A really interesting line happening here. Let's see. I think when we bet, we can go pretty small given the stacked pot ratio. And I do think it's best just to bet here instead of checking back. Get a call king on the turn here. So top pair, top kicker. Uh, definitely some stuff we might be losing too, but in a four bet pot, top pair, top kicker, once we turn it here under pot behind, we're gonna be jamming it in for value. He has queen 10, and he just happens to have one of those hands we were talking about that could beat us, and what seemed like a good turn card was a miserable one. So big pot brewing here with kings. Hijack open, three bet the cutoff, big blind cold, four bets. It's the kind of spot here where we're decently deep. I think most of our range wants to continue as a flat. So we'll do that in position. And flop comes down, jack, 10, five, two clubs. He checks to us, we'll be putting out a bet. Calls deuce of spades on the turn. Pretty clean turn card. 
continue going for value with our over pair here. And he folds, so we take it down. Small blunder is calling the big line at jack six suited. And a flop top pair six three deuce. He bets three quarters quickly, we'll be calling. Nine of hearts on the turn. So it's pretty big again, going to call at least one more. And a beautiful six on the river. He goes over bet. And uh, I think we have to just call. I was going to raise a lot of bets, but over bet will just call. And he has ace 10. Nice pot there, jack six suited. Small blind raise, big blind will three bet, queen nine suited. It's going to be a mix of some flatting, some three betting. A call. Gonna check 875 with the two overs in the gutter. And we're gonna turn top pair. We'll bet that. Get called five on the river. Backdoor diamonds get there. This is gonna be a really, really nitty check back. Uh, so mainly really field targets eights and sevens. He can have even, if we had a better queen, even like queen jack, I think we can maybe go for value, but a weaker queen will check. Um, unfortunately, that time, though, we do miss out on some potential value from a7. Um, so a lot of times it might be I just have it, but... Uh, here, interesting spot. Low jack limps off about 37 big blinds, gets two limps behind. We raise up ace-king from the big blind. He limp jams. We're going to be calling it off. Ace-king versus pocket fours. Flop an ace, no four or five, and we are good. Raise a call with 10-8 suited, big blind calls, going to check on the 10-7-5, two clubs. He goes for pots, we'll be calling. The top pair, turn two pair here, 10-8. Uh, top two at that. Pot, I think we have to just call though, it's kind of, oh, man, I want to be able to jam, but if we were a bit shallower, I would. Seven of diamonds on the river. Don't love it. Um, when he goes small like this, we can call, though, and both flush draws miss. Oh, king seven. That stings. That stings. That's going to be the end of today's cash game session. So we played for three hours at 2-5, and we played total 880 hands where we lost $258. Uh, if you guys are watching the vlog on YouTube today enjoy the video, please be sure to like the video as well as comment and subscribe to the channel. I'm currently posting a new poker vlog five days a week, Monday through Friday at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And if you want to know my live streaming schedule, I update it every Monday morning at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on my Twitch schedule page.